Hello everyone. Welcome to Veracious Academy. My name is Anil Kumar. I am an alumni of IIT Bombay. I have done my B.Tech from Mechanical Engineering. I have been teaching Physics for the past decade for JE Mains, JE Advanced, NEET UG and other competitive exams. If you are interested to attend my sessions, please find the contact details in the description below. Let's get started with this lecture. Enjoy the video. Now, eighth question. Again, let us take x axis and y axis. This is my x axis, this is y axis. Two semi infinite wires. Here also, I am keeping two semi infinite wires. are placed as shown in the figure. The first semi-infinite wire will be parallel to y-axis starting from minus a comma 0 and parallel to y-axis. Okay. The charge per unit length on this <coughs> is lambda. Okay. Yes sir. The second wire is from 0 comma 0 origin along x axis fine yes sir find the electric field at a point 0 comma a due to both the wires sir that infinite wire is going up right the first acha this is also charge per unit length lambda the first Semi infinite wire is parallel to y axis. Yes, sir. Starting from minus a comma 0. The second semi infinite wire is starting from origin and along positive x. The charge per unit length on both of them is lambda. Mm. Find the electric field at point 0 comma a. K lambda by A 1 by root 2 by cap plus K lambda by A 1 minus 1 by root 2. Okay, so let me solve it. So how my point 0 comma A is over here, right? Yeah, sir. So due to this semi-infinite wire, I have my 45 degree story, right? Due to the vertical semi infinite wire, I have this story. So yes. I have to remember that perpendicular to the wire in that direction, I will have k lambda by a into 1 by root 2 plus 1. Plus 1. And due to the same wire, I will have in the downward direction k lambda by a, lambda by a root 2. Similarly, Due to the horizontal semi infinite wire, we no, already both of them will be k lambda by a. Both will be k lambda by a. This is upward direction, and here it will be towards left. Yeah. So one k lambda by a in the horizontal direction will get cancelled. Yes, sir. So my resultant e bar net at zero comma a is along i cap. I have k lambda by a root 2 i cap. Yes, sir. And along j cap, I have k lambda by a minus k yes. lambda by yes. a root. So I have k lambda by a minus k lambda by a root 2 j cap. So I can simplify this by taking k lambda by a common. You can take root 2 also common. Yeah, we can take root 2 also common, but it's okay. I'll just write it like this. 1 minus 1 by root 2, j cap. Yes, sir. Is this clear? Why is that i cap? Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got okay. that. Right. Come so, what we are trying to understand is that 
most of the things uh, if you see in the figure only it becomes easier mm. very easy drawing my figure correctly is all that is required and of course remembering these things a lambda by a is the most common thing that we remember a uh, 45 degree story is sometimes you know i only myself forget so but as a student i used to remember so it's better you remember this okay yes sir <clears throat> hi guys i hope you enjoyed the session if you think this video was useful don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel also i'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section see you in the next video